All right, guys. We're taking a look at the micro V today. I know you guys are a little far away, but I figure this is probably the best way to do it. I know you can pull this motor out of here without having to pull the rear end off. I'm hoping. Now, I don't say that with confidence because it looks like quite a bit of stuff is probably going to have to come off. And of course, in the guide, it doesn't show you a picture of the cover off. But it looks like this top one, and then there's a bottom corner one down here. So we're going to try pulling those out and see what happens. I'm going to guess they wouldn't build this thing. And the reason we're doing this, guys, is I got a 50 turn motor we're going to try putting in here. This motor, I believe, is for an SCX24 originally. And look at that. Yes, it will. So let's plug it in first before we do all this and just power it on. So works good. A little bit closer here. Works good. Plugs right in, so we don't have to worry about plugging in anything, plugging out of anything, or soldering anything. Sorry. So let's get this battery out of here too. Actually, for right now. Out. Let's throw that on the charger so in case this does work out and go and test it. So looks like here and here are screws to pull the cover. Covers are already coming off. Pull that long one out. And then now, right in. So now it looks like this is holding it on. That's stupid, those are point, 1.5s. That was kind of dumb on Moses' part if you ask me. 0 0.05 screws and 1.5 screws. Kind of stupid. Doesn't really make sense, but whatever. We didn't design it. Those three screws. Those can at least pop out of your way. Okay, so that screw is still in there. It would be easier. If we pull that off the tire. So there we go. Actually, I'm just going to pull this screw out of the top here, too. Remember, guys, notice where your screws are coming out of so you can put them back. Okay, so those look like 
1.5s. So they are. pinion gear you can buy the little pinion pullers or you can use a flat blade screwdriver and this will pull right out so it looks like you do have a little bit of adjustability there so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pull this pinion gear off this motor show you guys quick how I do this Things on there pretty good. All right, I'm gonna try to get this pinion off, and then when I get it off, we'll come back. So it's not wanting to push off; it's just kind of breaking the pinion. So I think I'm just gonna cut the pinion gear off it real quick. Hopefully that works. Something I wasn't thinking of is how long the can on this motor is. So it's a little bit longer, so I'm gonna have to do some trimming here. All right guys, so we got it in there. It's gonna plug in, awesome. It does stick out a little bit, that'll be fine. I just trim this. Look at it, plug it in, make sure it's all cooperating with each other. It looks a lot faster, guys. So sweet. Let's get everything put back together, and then we'll go out and test it out. All right, guys, so we got it installed. It seems faster, but I can't tell from it in here, so we're going to take it out. Let's get it outside, and let's get a little bashing on it. So, guys, it's a little faster, but it's not as fast as I was hoping for. So guys, yeah, it's definitely faster, but it's not like super much faster. I don't know if it's worth it to you, it's worth it to you. If it's not, it's not. But yeah, it's a little faster now that I'm driving it. It feels a little faster. I might have to open up my other micro B and uh, drive that one and just see. And guys, it would wheelie now. It might have wheelie before too if uh, the tires got a little bit better grip, but they just don't get the grip. I will say though, it does feel more responsive with the smaller. Just tell me in the comments what you guys think. Does it look faster? It is definitely faster, and it does feel a little bit smoother, but it's not as fast as I was hoping, but it's not brushless, guys. So keep that in mind, too. 
We didn't make it brushless, it is still just brushed with a 50 turn motor. So you should see some speed difference, but you're not gonna see a ton. Here it is guys, the low C micro B upgrade. Motor upgrade. Ooh, that was a hard hit. You'll have to watch the video below to see the full upgrade. But. Oh, I stopped paying attention. Alright guys, so that went pretty good. It is definitely faster than stock. How much or how less or how much more, I'm not totally sure. But it definitely felt faster, looked faster. And it is a lot longer than can motor, so this motor won't heat up as much for when you guys are doing stuff or when you want to do things or whatever you're doing. But I just realized I never put the guard back on the one side. So I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to screw that back on, and then we're done. I will post where you can get this motor. This is an SCX24 motor, so you can find any SCX24 motor should work. This is a 50 turn, um, so yeah, I will post a link down below where you can get the motor. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe.